Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be reusing these cake boards that I used in a previous project and I'm gonna glue this Dollar Tree mirror to the center of both cake boards. Next, I'm gluing these glass gems around the entire cake board. You want to be sure you save the smaller gems for the outer perimeter so they can fit right in those small spaces. This is how it's looking so far. To add a little bit more detail, I'm adding a silver beaded necklace around the perimeter of the mirror. Once I was done with this step, I cleaned my mirrors off, removed any excess glue strings, and just like that, this is how it turned out. How quick, easy, and simple was this DIY? This turned out amazing, and let me know down in the comments if you would try this. These wall mirrors can also be used as candle holders, centerpieces, or whatever you prefer. For this next project, I'm using these four mirrors and more of those glass gems to turn these into coasters. If you are going to recreate these, then I suggest you start off by gluing the gems along the edges and then working your way towards the middle so that way your edges can be even as possible. Well, how quick and easy was that? I love how these coasters turned out, but tell me what y'all think down in the comments. For this next project, I'll be using another cake board and this time a square mirror. I'm using these gems that I purchased from Michaels a while ago and I'm gluing the oval shaped ones around the edges of the cake board. I'ma also glue these teardrop shaped ones around the edges as well. Now I'm gluing these flower shaped gems right underneath the gems that look like teardrops. So now I'm going back to using the oval shaped ones and I'm gluing these around the edges of the mirror. As if it wasn't already blinged out, I'ma bling it out some more with these clear acrylic gems. I'm loving how this project turned out with the mixture of the gems, but tell me what y'all think down in the comments. For this last project, I'm using another cake board and a circle mirror. I'm decorating this one with my red and acrylic gems. For this first layer, I'm gluing all the red gems around the mirror. The second row will be all clear gems. 
The third row is clear as well. I decided to do red for the last row. And I'm just gluing all the clear gems around the edges. So now that this is done, I'm going to sit this to the side and then I'm going to glue my candle holder on top of my circle mirror. Now I'm going to glue my cake board on top of my candle holder. I'll be using these wood blocks that I previously painted to help hold my cake board in place. You'll see in a second, I'm gonna add a generous amount of glue and I'm gonna hold my cake board in place until the glue dries. For this last step, I'm just adding more gems around my candle holder and then I'm going to remove all the glue strings, do my setup, and then I will be right back to show y'all the final look. I think I did a pretty good job with this vanity mirror, but tell me what y'all think. Please like, comment, and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.